fellas. Dog, what? Doesn't matter what she led. Oh! We marry your white women. Be funny. It just be funny. It, it just be funny. Yo, welcome back to DFC, baby. Yo, let me tell you what happened, bro. So last time on Triangle Strategy, I was introducing Frederica, you know, to the gang, and everything was going on well, you know? So let's see what happened after. We heard a tournament was coming up, but there's actually gonna be a ball that comes right before the tournament. Along the way, we met a dude named Dragon. Dragon's actually one of the geniuses in Ace Frost, which is the northern nation that does all the iron shit. Remember that. He actually figured out how to, you know, make explosives to make sure that it like, you know, mining process goes faster. So, you know, he's a genius. At first, we thought he was a little evil, but he's actually a pretty cool guy. You know, we seem to want to stick close to him, right? Frederica seems pretty chill with him too, right? But once the ball started getting rolling, you know, we were chilling. Everybody was having a great time, right? You know, Dragon was saying a little whatever, whatever. But then one of the Saintly Seven members came in. You want to know who the Saintly Seven is? Let me catch you up. So, Hyzant, the Salt Nation that I forgot in the last video, right? So they are owned by set, like they were ruled by seven people that all like own their own like different ministries and districts and they rule the nation together. These people, these seven niggas, they are called the Saintly these people, they're called the Saintly Seven, dog. They are kind of nuts, I'm not gonna lie. They all got this kind of Disney villain energy to them. In this chapter, we were introduced to three of them. The first one we were introduced to was a woman named Lila. Lila looks kind of toxic, doesn't she? <laughs> oh my goodness, let me tell you about it, bro. So, she started trying to beef with Dragon over, you know, political matters, and Dragon was kind of standing his ground because he was like, wait, wasn't the salt tax part of like, you know, the whole war ordeal? But then like, you know, Sarah Nora comes in and he's like, no, 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 chill, 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 chill. Look, that was a part of it, but we are going to keep it chill here, all right? Let, let's keep shit rolling, right? Lila and Dragon seem to have their little like squabble or whatever, but we kind of hash it out and, you know, we just keep it moving because we got a tournament coming up, dog. We got to get prepared for that. Let's get it. <laughs> right before the night ends, though, Dragon and Frederica and I have this weird conversation and Dragon's over here. He, he's drunk, bro. I'm telling you, he is Omega drunk right now, right? And he starts babbling off about how Frederica is actually being treated like shit at her hometown, bro. By her trashy ass siblings, like, siblings named Dallas and Erica or some shit, bro. They look ugly as shit. I'm not going to lie to you. And honestly, with that in mind, it made me want to protect Frederica even more. I was so glad to have her come through because I didn't want her to be, you know, treated like how she was being treated back at her hometown. So, Glenbrook welcomes her with open arms, you feel me? After we learn about Frederica's situation, we actually get the scales of conviction from our father. We get seven tokens and it's like a three-way scale. And basically, this scale will basically decide our major actions of the game you're you're gonna see a little more about this in the future but like just know it's important i'll explain a little bit more of it later but with that out of the way it is now the day of the tournament dog first thing that happens we hear about roland's sibling beef it's so weird right it was like this weird little side quest i was uh looking at it like uh i mean yeah, i guess it's cool but you know whatever <laughs> we get introduced to Thalys and Erica, which is Frederica's half siblings that treat her like shit because of her hair. Her hair! What the heck? It's her hair color, bitch. Are you jealous? We get introduced to the King of Glenbrook, who we are loaded up over. Or like loaded under, I mean, you know what I'm saying? I mean, the King seems to be a pretty cool guy, you feel me? Like, I looked at him and I was like, he kind of reminds me of Obama. Um, citizens of, um, Glenbrook, um, we're here today. Tournament, let me tell you who's fighting. So, we have two of the Saintly Seven members that are going to be fighting. One of their names is Exarme, I think. Exarme. And then we got Sorcely, all right? Exarme and Sorcely. These two, they also look like Disney villains. I don't know what's up with these Saintly Seven niggas looking like they're Disney villains, but you know, hey, hey, I'm with it. They, they look badass if you ask me. We have General Avlora. This woman has eight. Thick looking greatsword 
And I don't want to mess with her. She is rumored to be one of the strongest people, not gonna lie. I don't want to mess with her. I do not want her around one. Then we have the Dawn Spear, Maxwell. Maxwell looks, he looks hot. I'm not gonna lie, like, like he, he's with the shits, bro. He, he was kind of messing up rolling, like he is Roland's teacher, you know, so we're, we're gonna, Team Maxwell, we don't want to mess with them either, right? Our best pick is probably gonna be the Saintly Seven, right? So we actually do get matched up against the Saintly Seven for round one. So this shit's about to go down. Round one starts. We are butting heads with them right off the bat. Exarme tries to make a front for us, right? We start surrounding him. We start getting the jump on him, right? It's looking good. All of a sudden, boom, Frederica down. And I'm like, oh shit. You know, like I was getting a little nervous, right? But you know, we held our ground. A bunch of our people started getting new skills. Anna started pulling out. Freaking Chouette in the back. She starts going crazy like, oh my god, bro. My squad, we got them. We got them good. We smacked them up. Source Leaf gave us a little bit of trouble, but he's fine. Ultimately, we bodied them. They got a little salty, but you know, they good sports. So we cool with them, right? Round two was General Avalor versus the Don Spear. They were just going at it, right? It was a 1v1 all of a sudden. And then it seemed like General Avalor actually folded before she had to. It's like she was hiding her true strength, right? Maxwell technically won, but if Avalor did one more shot, I'm pretty sure Maxwell would have gotten down, right? But like, hey, if she want to hide her true strength, that's fine with me, right? We face Maxwell, or I guess you could call it a battle, right? Like they said, all right, let the battle commence. My screen went black and I'm sitting here like, did them niggas knock me out canonically? I was in shambles, dog. I was like, wow, I actually did not get to fight Maxwell, you know, tactically. And, you know, it kind of upset me, but it's A-OK. -okay. If that's how they want to play it, that's how they want to play it. Chapter 2 was quite interesting. That tournament was quite interesting. In Chapter 3, though, I hear that we'll be escorting one of the two, you know, nations back to their homelands. So it's either up to us to decide whether we're choosing to escort the Saintly Seven or Ace Frost choice is up to us fellas thank you for coming once again to another dfc youtube video and yo chapter three is gonna be the last chapter of the demo so stay tuned for that shit and yo i'ma see y'all at the fight club strengthen your convictions because this shit's getting heat peace out